December 6, 2020, and this Sunday will bring you the Advent crown with all of you. The second light is lighted for all of you that you receive that light to comfort your loneliness, your sadness, your sickness, any kind of illness that you have. Don't feel alone. You will find the way to heal. Also, maybe you have lost somebody in your family, a relative, a close to us, a loved ones. This light comes to you to show you that the resurrection and the life continues in another way. We have in the back also the image of the Our Lady of uh, Guadalupe, the mother who comes to us to comfort us and to give us hope and to give us the un unity and to give us peace. She comes and the continent to unite us. Remember, she united two continents, the Europe and this continent of America. But also she brings the good news, the gospel, Jesus Christ to our Savior. So this come to you today. We celebrate December the 12th, the apparition of the Our Lady of the Americas, Guadalupe, and the Tepeyac, and the Kilo Tepeyac, teach you up the mercy of God and the presence of our God is the merciful and compassion God. Today, the topic for everyone, Catholic, no Catholic, Christian, no Christians, believers, no believers, is that we need to continue helping through pilgrims of charity, a thousand people, a lot of people. But today, especially, we are pleased for all of you to help us because we need to hire people who is expertise in the behavioral psychology. Why? Because there are many people we know that are not connecting between their minds and their behaviors. Sometimes they will hear behavioral psychology referred to as a behaviorism. The researchers and the scientists who study behavioral psychology and trying to understand why these people behave the way they do and they are concerned with discovering patterns in our actions and behaviors. The hope is that we, we can use behavioral psychology to help us predict how humans will behave. We can build better habits as individuals, create better products as companies, and develop better living spaces as communities. Also, in building society, we knew that in understand that psychologists use scientists and researchers to for better understanding how people learn, interpret events, and make decisions. They, tend, they then translate that knowledge into techniques to help people make smart choices in their daily lives. Based on the deep knowledge of how lifestyles are affected by factors in social relationships and interaction, psychologists identify and help people overcome the obstacles that inhibit them from making better choices from exercising more or working more efficiently to using technology safely. Psychologists use psychological science to help people tap into their potential and help them perform at an optimal level. This is what we pretend in feelings of charity. Your help is crucial. When you do your donation as financial support, we, they, you contribute to help us people in this way. Your time time is precious too. And this led us also to understand that how in this time of Advent we are preparing, we are trying to connect our thoughts, our actions, our behaviors. That is important that today we understand that all the readings today give us the opportunity to see our lives with hope because we are people who can make changes. Building a sociality is trying to help you to make a change, transform your life, make these changes. The first reading, the prophet Isaiah advises us how we receive the good news to elevate our heart and our minds and our thoughts. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low, the rock land shall be made a plain, the rock country a broad valley because the glory of God shall be revealed and all people shall see it together. 
for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. All people got together. This is the idea of the new society, all, everyone together. Why? Because we understand that the Lord let us see his kindness and grant us his salvation. Also, because in every, in everything is to be dissolved in this way, because one sort of persons ought you to be conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion. This is the purpose of our lives, holiness and devotion. Why? Because we wish the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. By according to the promise, we await new heavens and new earth. The new heavens and new earth is for those people who has now living in desperation, live in no hope, hopeless. But now we announce that your hell, we can help these people to change their life. And this is a second opportunity that they will receive. They receive because their message today is prepare the way of the Lord. How we prepare, how we today, we be aware about that and make straight his paths or our paths. How we can make some changes in our behaviors and our thoughts and the way we say things sometimes. So today is the opportunity to proclaim a kind of repentance in our lives and the forgiveness of our sins. God wants to give us the forgiveness but also we need to understand that we can forgive people too. Today is the opportunity. Today is that day and not tomorrow. You never know if you live, still living tomorrow. Do whatever you now need to do today. That is very important. Today let us proclaim the good news because the mighty, the Savior is coming, Jesus Christ in our life. If you are a believer, even if you are Catholic or not Christian, this message also apply for you because I think you need to change. You need to make some changes in your life. You need to connect between your minds and your behaviors. What you think and what you act, what you do. Today is the opportunity as the young the Baptist proclaimed the good news. We need to connect that. He was very connected because what he proclaimed, what he said, he was living in the style of life in this way. He was humble. He was very mm, attentive to the word of God. Certainly he was not of the above because the humility that he showed up appointing to everyone to Jesus, not by himself. Because that is what the pride people said. Everything arrogated by himself, dedicated by himself. Because the one of the greatest human struggles in their life is pride. We tend to want to draw attention to ourselves. That's what happened. But most people struggle with their tendency to tell others how good they are and why they are right. And we want attention, recognition, and praise. We often struggle with this tendency because self-elevation has a way of making make us feel important. And such feelings feel good to an extent. But what our fallen human nature Nature often fails to recognize is that humility is one of the most greatest attributes we can have and is by far the greatest source of the greatest in life, the greatness of life. So today we practice the humility to understand that making changes is very important, but also not because we deserve recognition because we change, it's because we show the other people the way to Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you. Pray for me. May God bless you.